Okay, so today I'm out on the boat working on the headliner. We have some pretty serious stains that we have been told wouldn't go away, so we're giving it another shot. So these are the stains we're dealing with. Uh, water stains leaked through the screws and then just kind of went everywhere and did their thing. So the windshield has since been resealed, but the stains have not been cleaned up. So after a lot of research, I found that 50-50 bleach and water seems to be the best mix. And so as you can see, we have lots of staining. Runs down, down, down. And can you guess where I've tried it? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you on camera how to do this. So the headliner material and the material down here are slightly different from each other, but the 50-50 bleach water mix works on both. So I've already done it all right here, and it used to look like that over there. You can see I did a little spot right there too. It works on monkey fur, it works on the headliner, and now I'll show you how to do it. I'm using your standard Clorox bleach and a simple spray bottle. I really hope you don't need help figuring out 50-50 mix of bleach and water. Anyway, that's what's in here. So I just added it, mix it up a little bit. We're gonna spray it on. So I've had a lot of luck with like really saturating it. And another thing you do have to watch out for while doing this is that you don't scrub the headliner too much because it will pill up a little bit. But there is a fix for that, which I'll show you later in this video. Oh yeah, um, I would recommend wearing gloves because even though it's 50-50, I can still feel my hands getting a little bleachy. Gloves, all right, so now we need that and we are going to scrub. Look at that. You can see it just disappearing. So after scrubbing, you let it sit for a little bit longer and then we hit it with a shop vac. And just like that, your stains are like 95% gone. You can still see a little bit of a remnant right there, but really that will all be almost unnoticeable by the time we're done. Something to note with this is when you're spraying overhead, you are gonna get drips that fall down. So be sure that the area that it is getting dripped onto, you don't care about. So in this case, I've taken out all the cushions in the boat and this stuff is also gonna be getting the bleach treatment. So I don't care that it gets dripped on. But if you have like cushions or anything underneath, be sure you cover them up with like a paper towel, plastic bag, whatever, because you don't want any of the bleach getting on there. Otherwise you will get stains. Okay guys, so check that out. Look at that, it is gone. There's like nothing left. All right, highly recommend this method. This is probably the most excited I've been about cleaning in a long time. I mean, this headliner almost looks new. Okay, so I've been at it about an hour and I found that you don't even have to scrub on the really tough stuff you do. Um, but here, this whole area, I just sprayed it, let it sit for five minutes and then vacuumed it up. So as you can see, all of this is looking super good. So I still have to tackle this big guy. That's probably the worst one left, followed by that. And then, a little bit up there and some down there. Overall, pretty dang amazing. Okay, so now we are all done. All the stains are pretty much gone. You can see a few little remnants, but otherwise this is like super clean. This is fantastic. I had no idea it would clean up this nicely. So anyway, there we go. We have a nice clean interior. All the cushions are inside right now getting vacuumed and having their own stain process done on them. Definitely don't want to use bleach on them. The last little part to our video from scrubbing, you get kind of this little pilly buildup that doesn't quite match everything else. So what you do, take a little razor and just kind of shave it off. There we go. My razor has seen better days. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. You just shave it right off, and it looks just like it did from the factory.
thank you for watching another episode of Kevin's Garage. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like my content, please subscribe. Lots more projects to come. Till next time.